Hello viewers, how are we doing? Hope you're all good. We're back for more daily races. you love to see it. Got my penalty t-shirt on because if anything, if yesterday's stream is anything to go by, we're gonna be getting a fair few of those. Yesterday, we didn't actually do much chilling. It was Nürburgring and chill, but there, uh, we, we use the word chill very, very loosely. Hopefully today we can actually do some chilling. Let me just close this quick one second. Uh, right, today's daily races, or this week's, this week's races. One moment, sorry. Hello, yep, sorry. I can just hear my I can hear myself. Sorry. Hello, hello, hello. Yep. All good. Righty then. Let's have a look. What have we got? Race A, group four Topolis. Group three Majoris Race B. Race C is the Master Road Touring Car at Suzuka, which is actually always a pretty good race actually. That car normally produces pretty close and exciting fighting. So, an interesting mix 
we're going to jump into race B as we always do. What's my FF car of choice? Well, in in this one, it looks like the Peugeot. I don't really like the Audi. Um, because when you when you floor it in those cars, it, it wants to straighten itself up. But the the RCZ doesn't do that as much. So I normally go for the Peugeot. But we'll give that a race a go. Now, for race B, I've set... I'm obviously sixth on my list. <laughs> as ever. Um, but I've set an alright time, 55.2. I know I can do a 54. It's just hooking the lap up. And I've done that in the Toyota FT1. Um... But there's a mix of cars being used. You see on the top of the leaderboard, one, two, three, four, five different cars in the top five. But let's jump in. Maybe I'll be able to beat my practice time before the race begins. How are we doing, everyone? Hope you're all good. Streaming two, ra uh, two days in a row. Aren't you blessed? absolutely blessed I'd love to see it <laughs> so yeah let's do a couple of laps maybe I could walk you through a couple of tips for this uh, let me just let me, uh, pause that music. All right, um, let's go through this circuit. I've, I've got a 55.2. That is 0 0.9 off the number one at the moment. Tijni, good evening, good sir. Right, so here we have Autodromo Lago Maggiore. Let's try and get some decent times, like I'd say a 55 is a good lap time. Look for the 100 board, braking just after it. Down to second gear, use the kerb. Stay in second, but then down to first. Try and get your right wheels on the yellow. And then minimise oversteer as I didn't do there. Over here, use that. You want to lift halfway through this corner. Get over to the left. And then you get your right wheels at least onto the white on the inside. On the power as early as possible. Looking for the end of the kerb on the left hand side here and trying to break in a fairly straight line and then turn in as you come off the brakes, late apex, power out, back over to the right. Now this one just requires commitment and precision, throw it in, perhaps could use more kerb on the power, Use go over that and then aim for a very late apex on that kerb. And you should have to power all the way out to the outside, cut that, straight line that. And then you're looking for... There's a little black box before the 50 board here. There is. Now four gears, right wheels inside the white, power on. Didn't rotate the car enough. Up here you, can, uh, you should better go flat out through this. Turning quite early for this right hand up. Hey, thank you, Timu, for becoming a member. Thank you very much, mate. Head in and then power back out. You can go down to second here, but third's all right as well in this car. And then down the hill, turning in just before the end of this curve on the right. Could have done it a little bit earlier. And then you can use this extra tarmac on the right here. That's probably going to be a high 55, low 56. Yeah. Wasn't totally smooth. Right, there's there's so much time to be gained coming out of that corner if you get it dead right. Um so on my PB lap I didn't get it right, but I know that if I get it right I can gain like two tenths just there alone, so I know I can do a fifty-four. Right. It's just hooking it all in one lap. That's the hard bit. 
How many laps? Uh, this race is going to be a four lap race. Daily race C in the Roadster at Suzuka is eight laps. And that's like a two and a half minute lap time. That's too wide there. You can take much more curb than that. Apex too early there. Any pit stops in race C? I don't think so. I lifted there. Ideally, you don't want to lift. If you get, it's, it's hard to get it dead right, but once you do, you you don't want to lift. This is the Supra. This is the Toyota FT1. I think the Supra is a good car for this for this uh, race. Oh God, um, it's a good car for the race because it has good straight line speed, so it's it's good for overtaking or stopping other people overtaking you. wide. So you need to be at least half the car on that curb on the left. Mid 55. I can comfortably do mid 55s, which is alright. But I just need to edge my way towards the 54s. So you see they're two tenths I've, I'm up already on this lap. I take a bit more curb this time. There we go. So, uh, quarter of a second up at this point. I'm not going to be able to finish this lap annoyingly. Too late on the power. Oh, it's not too bad. early I think. Uh, actually no it's alright. Yeah, lost a tenth and a half there. So I'm three oh that would have been a point three maybe. Oh well. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Joe Gross, or Gross, for becoming a member. Thank you, Brandon Nido as well. Bad driver. Thank you so much, bros. Okay. FT1 Supra, FT1 Supra, top four. Could be good. Oh, Wi Fi password's back in eighth. People you love to see. Ollie's at the back with the Beetle. Let's see where you can get to. I read that the GR Super has better stats. Um, I wouldn't look at the stats, to be honest. It, they're not totally reliable. At the moment, it looks like the FT1 is the car. It, depend, it, it depends on the race, though, because, as I said earlier, the Super is good in a straight line, so I might struggle to get past the Super in front of me because it's so quick on the straight. But we shall see. Evening PX Cam. Good to see you in here, mate. Tijin is saying FT1 for the time trial, super for the race. Yeah. Um, my race. When you get over it, yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Green. <laughs> Should give you a hundred skill. These socks. 
Got the good old M power. BMW M power socks on. Yeah, FT1 for the TT, Supra for the race. Uh, yeah. I mean, my race pace feels better. I feel more comfortable in the FT1. But it's probably harder to overtake. But we'll see. We'll give a jolly good go. We'll give it a jolly good go. Alrighty then. Should be good. <laughs> Oh, wah. <laughs> okay, well, this is going to be interesting. Ah, look at these. Well, we know who's won. <laughs> oh my god. We've <laughs> got five second penalty. Get that radar up. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, I've completely misjudged that. What the hell was that? Oh, everyone's got penalties. I'm so sorry for that guy I completely ruined at the start. I've got no grip now. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Jesus Christ. Well, we know who's won the race. <laughs> the Czech guy. What was that all about? Well, well, well. You love to see it. Be interesting to see how Ollie did there because he's already in seventh and he started last. Yeah, now I've got the problem of trying to overtake because... The FT1 doesn't have too much power. the leader doing he just slowed right he slowed right down maybe he felt guilty about getting such a big lead for free I thought that bug was was gone you know I thought that it started happening again a few times recently
No, he's still going to go for it. Cut your back there, bro. Serving too late. Never gonna happen, mate. Never gonna happen. Come on, try and get second. Oh, you've got a penalty. Hey, thank you. Another member. Cheers, man. Toe. Persia was quick there. Just turn him around the outside. <laughs> oh, mate. How do you feel about that? How do you feel, good sir? Oh, that's a bit narrow. Five five at the end there. <laughs> what a move that was. Lovely. Maybe you can overtake in this car. Where did we go down to? About fifth or fifth or sixth at one point? Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. <laughs> what was that start all about though? <laughs> I need to turn my music back on on the game. When you get over it, <laughs> I was having a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Caden uh, Sweeney. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers, brother. Well, well, well. Who got the quickest lap? Avi. 55 2, quick lap. Fair play. Right, let's get out of it. Ollie had no ABS. Ah. Let's just watch that replay. <laughs> I want to see that start. How mad was that? Yet the ABS bug. It seems like all these weird glitches seem to be coming back. <laughs> they uh, disappeared for a while. But we haven't had too many bad glitches, like the one where the cars don't start properly, the ABS one, the one where you can't drive out the pit lane, the cars keep crashing into the wall. Loads of bugs this game has had, but it's been 
all right recently, but I don't know. I sense it, I sense they're coming back again. Yeah, the ABS glitch. Um, even if your ABS is set to default, sometimes it will just turn it off for the race for some weird reason. <laughs> Let's see what Ollie, because he started last. Oh my god, he must have got a massive run on everyone. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. That other guy got a penalty for that. Oh yeah, he's got no ABS. <laughs> what is that? Oh, mate, did I just kill the R4M guy? I think I did. I killed an R4M member. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, well, he might have been able to continue there, but... I started the job, the McLaren finished the job. So this guy must have... Oh my god! <laughs> Five second penalty! He overtook... wait, where is he? Twelfth? Twelfth to second! <laughs> that... <laughs> Five second penalty for that. I found this. Thank you, DL20T. Thank you, bro. Another member. Appreciate it, mate. Oh, right. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Favorite song of GT Sport? Um, maybe one of the FIA meme intros. To be honest, I don't really have a favorite song. I don't really. Um. Listen to the music, if I'm honest. Wait, can you do tuning? Or is this... My car's not legal. Uh, my car's not legal. I'll put these back, I think. To 100. Does it allow... It allows N200. Wait, what is the requirement for this race? Mazda Rosa touring car. Um, car from garage. It's let me. It's let me tweak the car. Hey, what am I? What am I looking at here? So wait, that's making the that's making the car more powerful. Weight reduction. Make, okay, that's too powerful. We need to make it there. N two hundred. Okay. But the tires. Oh, so that won't even matter. All right. Cool. <laughs> I got really confused then. So why is it letting me tweak all of that? Right, so I haven't set a time, so I'm going to have to start last. Well, I could maybe set a lap time here, but it won't be a good one anyway, so I will be starting near the back. Should be good fun, though. This car usually produces some pretty good racing. The thing I'm worried about is, like, penalties, <laughs> especially at the back, but we'll see. We shall see... We shall, uh, we shall see Chateau. Right. What are we looking for today? What are the times? 2.29.7. It's number one. So it's two and a half minutes per lap. We'll be slow in the race, of course, but... Anyway...
You didn't see that. <laughs> Sorry, Oscar. The internet is a world of temptation, my friend. Oh, it's slidey. Yeah, that's clean. Stewards, you saw nothing. No! We'll be very committed in Degna 1. Tijni, Tijni, Mr. Yolo, Swagmeister. Let's go round Spoon. Hmm. Felt right, but it's probably average. Serve your penalty. Stop right there, criminal scum. then. Let's see what the grid looks like. Cristiano Ronaldo on pole on his Italian account. Will Murdoch, Key, Oli, Max Power in 12. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Hey, thank you Nick. Another member. Cheers bro. I was going to say, if you could put your headlamps down, you'd probably save about four seconds a lap in aerodynamics. Well, you bring them up when you're braking and then put them down all the other times. Right, I'm only going to look really bad against Key and... I've got Key and Will Murdoch either side of me. Um, this could look bad. This could, <laughs> this could end badly for me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, let's get out on track. I need all the practice I can get. Hey, it's Will Murdoch. Why, hello. Hello, oversteer, my old friend. Righty then. I reckon, here's my strategy, all right? I'm just going to send it on lap one. I'm going to win the race on the first lap. I'll be in the lead by about turn four, I reckon. No mercy. Right, do we want to burn fuel here? Oh, it's a grid start. Yes, love it. I didn't think it was a grid start. Woo, I love grid starts. Let's do it. Go on. Love a freaking grid start. Right, here we go. We need one TCS in this car. Let's go! Okay, it's not going to be too... Everyone got exactly the same start, pretty much.
Oh, Key, that was cheeky, mate. I'm going to follow him through. Oh, Max Power's down here already. Woo! Right, let's stay on him. Hey, thank you very much for that donation. Flip the gas on an upshift. Do you mean actually, do you mean release the gas? You'd flip the gas on a downshift. Okay, I can carry much more speed through there than that. Or release the gas, I think. I'll try it. Right. Who wants to see Key 25 in the barrier at Spoon? Come on, Key. Go on, son. Oh, who's that? That's Ollie. Send, 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 send. Woo, it's getting a bit. Oh boy, it's gonna. This ain't gonna end well for someone here. That's happening, boy. Oh, it's free abreast there. Give me the toe, that's it. Come on, I'm in the train. Cheers, Key. Right, let's go, mate. Go, bro. Come on. Thank you, Urban Racer. Oh, what's much power doing? Hit the NOS button. I wish I had NOS. I wish, bro. done it. I need to stay with Key really. He's going to make progress. He's a good person to stick on to. Tried it with a massive send there. I'll bump draft you, mate. Just go. Uh, he's going to defend it. It's 
third gear right. It feels lifeless in third, but... Yeah, third gear. It just—it just feels pretty lifeless. You just have to go on the power really early, I guess, and just live with it. Let's try it here. I don't know. It didn't feel right to me, but. Right, there's that nice group up ahead. Because you make like a mistake on this on this race. Like a one second gap in these cars is worse than a one second gap in a group three car. Oh, someone's wide. So like losing time in these races is really it hurts you more, I think. It, takes, it feels like it takes longer to make it back up. And everyone's very even. Oh, oh, hello. I shall be taking that as well, thank you. Oh. Okay, we're on this group again. Well, I say again, we're on them now. We're into 12th, lap 4. It's going to be a long old race. 20 minutes, I think. 20 minutes this race. Righty then. It's weird because like we're quite far into the race and you can still see like the the leader. Like the gaps are small but it's weird because the gaps are small but they take ages to catch up, if that makes sense. You urban again. Woohoo! Come on. Oh, that guy's out of the. He needs to get back in. There he is. He's got it. Oh, mate. Come on. You're making the mistake there, Greek man. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Wrestling for that position. He's got it. He's done it. No way you're gonna get given space there, bro. Some serving a penalty this could get could get tasty here. Up into 130R. Oh, that's a Yeah, guys, I can see the lift and shift. I'm trying to remember, but you don't have to tell me every five seconds. I'd rather just drive how I want to drive. 
no need to tell me every two every two seconds how to drive. Just enjoy the stream. Oh. Come on, mate. Yeah, I, I don't know if lift and shift really does make much difference anyway, to be honest. Oh, get out. For God's sake. <laughs> There's a good race until that. Oh, look how many positions I'm going to lose here. sake. Gonna have a race with Ollie now, I think. What a joke. Honestly. Look at this group. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How many people in this? This is the battle for what? About eighth? Oh my god. Well. Oh, I give up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> Look! Oh, he's gone. Oh, they're free abreast. Why did he get a penalty for that? Oh, he ain't happy. <laughs> Thank you, Stu. Stu R32. Oh man. I bet, I, drop, I bet my SR is going to drop down as well. Oh my god, Will Murdoch is in the lead and he started just in front of me. That's mad. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> I need, I'm wearing the wrong t shirt. It's giving me penalties. <laughs> Come on, two more laps. We might still be able to get some more positions here. Is that a penalty? Okay, there's two. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a run here. 
a slight run. Oh! I'm wide. Dirty tyres now. Oh man, you do not want to go wide. Your tyres are horrible. It takes like a minute for the tyres to come back. This race definitely has potential. When I saw there was going to be an N200 race at Suzuka, I thought, oh, this is going to be boring, but they can definitely make a video on this race. All right, it's a battle for 11th. I'm not gonna be able to get this, I don't think. Unless he gives me the slipstream, which he is. Oh no, we're going to have to go through here side by side. Oh, he's still there. It's a good, it's a good battle. Oh no, three abreast. Ah! Oh man, I'm in the middle. Come on, car. Feel the lack of grip now. I'm on you now, bro. Here we go. You can pass on the right hand side. Oh no, that's a corner cut. Oh Jesus Christ.
Just go. Thank you, Max Turbo. Thank you, Chris, uh, Chris Rodriguez. I missed your donation. <laughs> oh, that was going so well into the stupid penalties. That could have been a top five, I think. Oh, my goodness. Right. Oh. Right, um, suppose. Honestly, what the f are we doing here? Many thanks, Chris Tibble. Good to see you on here again. It's been a while, mate. It's been a while. It was a big lunge at the end there. It's like once it's, I could see it coming on the radar. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm, I can't turn in now. But, oh, that's annoying. I think that could have been a top five. I don't see where Key finished. But Will Murdoch, he won that race and he started... Where did I start? 17th? He started 16th. God. Right, let's do race A. Let's give it a go. In the Peugeot. Okay, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! Thank you, Super Arthur, for the donation, mate. Oh, man. That race. You just... Wait, what was the first it going into the hairpin? We just door banged. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. What's the other one? Oh track limits on the on the on the chicane. I think track limit penalties are usually fair enough because it's it's a black and white. You cross the line, you get the penalty. I must I must have crossed the line. So you ca I can't really complain about that one. Oh, for m Momos. My goodness. What a frightening combination. Thank you, Woodman Gaming. Do, 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 do. Right. Ooh. Right, let's just do that again. What happened to Momo's? Um, he still plays every now and then. You don't see him all that much. But, I don't know, maybe a month ago I saw him, I think. My uh, my best lap is a 154.4 and it really isn't a good lap, so <laughs> I need to try and prove it here. I've, I've got enough time for one lap.
the understeer, so much understeer in this car. Right, that should, <coughs> that should be a better lap. There we go. I don't know how good that is, but it's better than what I just had. The real understeer simulator. As it shall now be affectionately known. Oh no, that's too wide. I'd imagine there's not going to be too much overtaking on this race, but we're going to see, aren't we? Autopolis is never the best track for overtaking, but I don't know, maybe Group 4 could be a bit different. We'll see. Let us take a look, shall we? Do, do, do. <laughs> That's only good enough for 11th. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I need to be half a second quicker at least, but Oh well. Let's give it a jolly good go. Group 4 really isn't my... It's, I'm just not that good in Group 4. Oh god, I spilled some on myself. Should all races be grid start? Um, I don't think all races, but... I do think that the... Um, I would definitely say... That... The rolling starts are too spread out. It's, it's good for clean racing because obviously you don't have too many crashes into turn one on the rolling start. But the problem is like sometimes on the rolling start you can, it takes like a lap for anything to actually happen. Like the first lap should be an exciting lap but on a rolling start a lot of the time it isn't. You just, you're miles away from everyone. And especially on um, tracks with a chicane at the end of the lap and people have to start on that corner or the chicane or something and, it, and it's hard to start it makes it a bit worse um oh yeah what's my sr let's have a look hopefully it's all right after that race oh it's, it's okay my sr is fine i suppose that's a good thing about that doing it in race c it's quite a long race so your sr doesn't completely die. Random call sign in the chat. How are you doing, mate? How are you doing, brother? Da 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 da. Right, someone's left, so we're starting tenth. I've got to learn quickly. The guy in the lead is a whole second quicker. My goodness. Do, 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 do. Ready for more 180 rage quits. They're coming, mate. They're going to happen. <laughs> My signature move, the 180 rage quit. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Let's get into it. Oh, it's another, another grid start. All right. It always is in race A, isn't it? Thank you, Yannick. Cheers, mate. Good luck for this one. Send it. All right. Oh. That Italian sent it. Oh, mate, get done. Around the outside there, bro. I'm in sixth already. Thank you, Silo 101. Is Forza Horizon too easy for, 
for pros like you. It depends what you mean. It depends what you mean, mate. On a competitive level, no game is easy. It doesn't matter if it's an arcade or a sim. No game is easy. Oh, mate. Oh. <sighs> yeah, all right. I just can't avoid penalties. Right, where's the penalty line? Can't remember where it is around here. I think it's where I got the penalty, isn't it? Yeah, down that hill after the hairpin. God, mate, how early do you want to break? Positions am I going to lose here? Might not be too bad. Mm, two. Yeah. Get one back. Come on. Yeah, okay. We can get that fifth place back. For sure. Get it. Oh, come on, turn. Two more laps. Battle for fifth, I think. We know this guy likes to break really early. We'll gain on him there. Yeah, watch out for the early breaking. Don't go into the back of these guys. That's the thing, though. You have to. You do have to adjust how you drive compared. To depending on who you're driving against. You have to be prepared for that sort of thing. Thank you, Stu. P6 in sight. I'm in it. I'm in P6, bro. I mean, judging by the pace at the front, I've got the pace to be at the front, but just need to be starting them. That's the problem. Well, they are fighting, though. If they keep fighting like that, we could be on them. Don't break too early, my friend. Thank you, Riley. Cheers, mate. Can I nip underneath here? No. Oh, he's just letting me go. All right. Cheers, mate. Okay, there's a outside chance of maybe picking up fourth if something goes down in this group. All we can do is just put in a good lap, hope for the best. Fastest lap. The fastest driver on this circuit. 
Come on. 52-2. Wait, what was my qualifying lap? 53, wasn't it? So I've done a 52-2 in the race. That bodes well. I think the key to these cars is it's just getting the, the delicate blend on the throttle on the way out of the corner. Right, yeah, we can definitely get a gain. Uh, we can definitely get a position here. I get a penalty for that. Frank, I appreciate your membership, my good friend. Oh, well, it's going to be a fourth. I had good speed in that race, to be fair. Oh, it's a TT that won it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Well, okay. Okay. I'll take that. Given that penalty kind of ruined my race a little bit. I gained six positions. Um, but I had good pace there. If I didn't get that penalty, I could have been on the fight for the, for the lead. But you never know, do you? You never quite know. You just lie down, turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. Hey, thank you VR6 Music. Congrats on the new wheels. Manual M2 Comp with Dream Car of Mine. Anyway, have some fuel on me. Cheers, man. Uh, m yeah. Um, manual, rear wheel drive, 400 horsepower. I mean, what more do you want, you know? What more do you freaking want on the road? It's just, it's just a great car. It really is. And if it's your dream car, you have a great dream car. <laughs> Right, I'm... Whoa, there's a giant lizard on the track. Wow, where did that come from? Thank you, Thomas. Never give up. Never give up, viewers. Just shows you. Just shows you. We got back to a decent result there. Was it a podium? No, fourth, fourth. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. Right, let's set some... I want to do one more from the back on this one. So in the meantime, I will try and set a lap time on this. I'll try and improve my time. Tiamet Marduk, Tiamet Mard UK is in the chat. One wheel drive. Can you imagine a one wheel drive car? I went on the internet this week and I found this. Random call sign. Everyone subscribe to random call sign. Cheers bro. When all this Lockdown blows over, we have to go out for a drink again. Brother. I reckon everyone in the chat should all we should all go out for drinks after this lockdown's over. All four thousand seven hundred of you. Including TM at Mars UK. Right. Ever used a manual in Sims with the shifter? Um, yes. Like on Dirt Rally, I did it a couple of times. But on Gran Turismo, I don't use it. So my target here is a 54. I, I know I can do it, it'll be very difficult.
But, but any improvement on that 55.265 will be good. Any improvement. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Vince Smith. Cheers, ma'am. So Tishy said that there's a little black mark on that curb on the right, on the way in, and actually that's a really good marker for that corner. I messed up that corner though. I messed up the corner there. Oh wait, I'm still up. All right. And thank you, Thomas, again, for becoming a member. Legend. Thomas is a legend. Right, come on. Oh, I lost a bit of time there. Final sector. That's too wide. It's a good lap, but it's on the limit. What are you? 55.3. Oh! How close. Too, too late on the power. Definitely say that corner quicker. <laughs> yeah, petition to make this track in real life. Make it happen! Petition to make Trial Mountain in real life. Petition to make Special Stage Route X in real life. Thank you, Nick. Bind it. Stay awesome, safe, and healthy. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you, Nick. Come on. <laughs> Petition funds. How much do you reckon it would cost to build this track in real life? We talk, we're probably talking, what, hundreds of millions? At least tens of millions. You have to find a suitable location in Italy to build it. And then build it. Thank you, Grant, for 37 quid. Thanks for the amazing content. Long time subscriber. Going through a rough breakup and your videos have been helping. Stay safe and happy holidays. Cheers. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. And thank you, Red AK. From a small sim YouTuber, enjoy watching. Thank you very much, Red AK. Thank you very much, Grant. Sorry to hear. But, well, if my videos can provide any entertainment to you, then that's good to hear, man. Hope. 
Hope it all gets better for you, bro. Have I ever played GT5 Prologue? No, I haven't played... Um... Oh, that's wide. I haven't actually played GT5 or 6. Yeah, so I've, ne I've never... So for me, I, I always had a PS1. I had a PS1 and a PS2, so I played Grand Theft Auto 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then I went to Xbox 360, so I didn't play... I didn't get a PS3, so I've never played um, GT5 or 6, and I still never played them, not even for five minutes. Um, and then, on a whim, well, I bought an Xbox One, and then on a whim, I sort of thought, right, let's just buy a PS4 and Gran Turismo, to see what it's like. I wasn't even that bothered, really, and then... What do you know? I'm still playing it three years later. Pretty mad, really, but... I only bought this game just on a sort of... Eh, let's just see. I didn't... <laughs> I wasn't even that interested, really. And here we are today. So one's just it's rubbish. the ghost they need to be. Ah! If I just... I went like one pixel onto the gravel and the car didn't like it. Time for a couple more laps. I know I can beat it, it's just. It's only there. Come on.
Oh, mate. 50... Yes. Get in there, Lewis. 54.9. Come on. What a lap. Woo. Yes. Love it. And I messed up the final corner as well. That could have been 0.8. I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it. Get in there, Lewis. Oh, yes. Get in there, Lewis. Fantastic lap, mate. That's P1. You're on pole position, mate. Yay, I'm not sick. Oh, okay. I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Because now, I'm in the same second as the number one. I'm so I'm, what, six tenths? Six tenths away from the number one. Just over half a second. Turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. Thank you, uh, Nick Kerr, for the early donation. Thank you, Scott Nally. Love watching your streams, mate. From an Aussie in the UK. Fantastic stuff there, mate. Sorry to the horrific accent. Love to hear it there, mate. Right, let's jump in. So... Yeah, let's, uh, oh, I'm just trying to think which race to do now. Do I could do race B and then C. That would probably make sense, actually. <laughs> Everyone's gone mental now. If you keep behaving that way, uh, you will be sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, then no, wait. Which one? Wait. Oh, well, the Nicholas Kerr. That, that doesn't even sound like the word. That's a rubbish one. A look on the internet and this was on it whoa that name that doesn't sound anything like it kissing randomly well, um probably zero it only works on americans Like, there's a pause between each word, so it doesn't sound like anything. Oh, you guys, what are you like? Okay, I had a look on the internet, and this was on it. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Or the the Bal the Baldo Norris one. Or well, both of them. Yeah, Paul Swell's got my back. Went back and the way you said it was nowhere near, so you're fine. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Just Thomas. I'm going to appear on one of these. <laughs> Sometimes on YouTube you get on these uh, these channels where it's just like... Honestly, what the f*** are we doing here? Yeah, sorry Nick. You tried. It was a good try, mate. Um, you get on these channels where it's just like 15 second clips of something stupid that happened on Twitch or someone said something on YouTube live stream or something. I'll be, I'll be on that soon. YouTuber gets caught out by donation name. Ah! Cancel this monster. He can no longer exist. Super GT cancelled in horrific in horrific incident.
Alrighty then. I'm happy with the pace. 54.9. Because earlier I was struggling to get like a 55.2 and it was like, oh, I can only just get a 55.2 if I'm perfect. But then I thought, come on. Let's go for it. Let's, let's do it, you know? Let's get that 54. Let's crack the 55 barrier. Who's the actor that plays as, as the Terminator? Oh, that's um, Sylvester Stallone, mate. I think you'll find. Oh, no, no, no. It was... Um, it was um, pretty sure that's DiCaprio, actually. Oh, pole position. Everyone in a Supra behind me. Rip! Okay. This is going to be a tough race. This is going to be a tough one. Where's... Oh, Tidge. Tidge is at the back. Hammer down 44. We're going 13th. Kirith is in here. PX Cam is in here. Wi-Fi password is in here. My goodness. Pole position, Lewis. Get in there. Fantastic lap, mate. That's P1. That's your eight, 850th pole position. <laughs> the year is 2051. Lewis Hamilton... He's a 40-time F1 world champion. He's got eight. He's got 700 pole positions. He's got 600 wins. He smashed Schumacher's record by seven times. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you. Good luck, mate. Thank you very much for the donation, my friend. Appreciate it. Have a good race. I'm in fifth. Good luck. Ali Avilo, Avilio, who is in fifth place. Good luck, mate. <laughs> Miracles do happen, mate. Miracles do happen, mate. Will the pig know now remember me every time I donate? Yeah, Nick. Um, you're... I'm certainly going to be remembering you. You're at the forefront of my mind. Tokyo Drift intensifies. Right. Let me know where Tijani's going to finish. He's starting 15th. Where's he going to finish? Where am I going to finish? Not sixth. I'm, not, I'm on pole position. This is a rare pole position. I don't often start on pole. That just shows you how good that lap was. I'm up against Supras though. It's going to be tricky. Five Supras behind me. Oh my god. RIP in peace, y'all. First. Tizzy's going to finish P16 even though there's only 15 people. Alright, let's get that radar up. Well, hopefully there's... What I need is that start thing to happen again, where I get a massive lead. Oh no, it hasn't happened. What a shame. Right. Four perfect Q1 laps. That's what we need. It's served fresh right now. Let's go. Come on.
Nikki Lou. Cheers from the States, matey. Oh, that's super. Look how quick it is. It's going to be really hard to defend against that. Oh, come on. May well have to go defensive here. I'm definitely quicker for that first sector than this guy. But I should be in this car. Well, that's good because I, I can get a gap before the back straight, which is crucial. Because he has all the speed on the straight. Not quite in the toe at the moment. Okay, they're going to fight each other. That's helpful. Thank you, Marcus. Cheers, mate. Right there, they're fighting each other now. That's perfect. Penalty, okay, that's helpful. 55-7. Not the best lap. Should be able to get a low 55 in the race, I think. Too wide. away now. Mid-55. Yep.
Marginally up. Going purple here, boys. Oh mate, what a race. This will be a 55-3 as well. No, no it won't. Oh, here we go. Get in there, Lewis. Woo! GG everyone. Tidgeney finished 10th. To be fair, it's not an easy track to make loads of overtakes. And Alex Albon wins the Italian Grand Prix! Sensational! Okay, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. Whoa! <laughs> Cheers, Max Turbo. Max Turbo. Oh, yeah! Didn't get the fastest lap, but... Okay, I had a look on the internet and this was on it. <laughs> Get in there, bad driver. Fantastic. Bad drive, mate. Oh, yeah. Wi Fi password congratulated me. Uh, and as did Avi. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Right. And PX Cam. Thanks for the race. Bye bye. I'm all for the balls. Get in there, Sir Albon. Sir Albon. All oh, right, we still got 17 minutes until the next one. Until uh, race C, which is what I wanted to do next. I guess we can improve our race A time. We might. There's nothing else to do because I'm not. I'm going to do one more race from the back because I don't want to actually set a time on race C just yet. So let's uh, improve this. Should be able to get that down to a mid low 52. What's the difference between the Supra and the FT1? Um, the Supra is much better in a straight line. Um, but the FT1 is much more of a handling car, I'd say. So in the race, the Supra is good because I think the FT1 is better in terms of just overall pace. But in the race, the Supra is good because on the back straight, which is the main overtaking place, the Supra is really good for overtaking or like not being overtaken from the car behind. So that's why you might want to use the Supra. It's like a tactical decision to use it. <laughs> Looks like Albon, but drives like Lewis. That's my catchphrase. I'll go with that. All right, here we go. Alicia Millington, hi Steve. Hope you're doing well. Good luck. Thank you. All good over here, my friend. Right. Whip off that TCS. Front bias. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, in the race, when I did this race earlier, I did a 52. 52-2, I think. So, let's see if we can get that. That's got to be the aim.
too wide. It's just managing understeer. Don't you just love chronic understeer? Don't you just love it? I know I do. Thank you, Adam. Do you consider yourself better at sim racing or karting? Hmm. Good question. Lol. Um, good question. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Um, hmm. I would say karting. I would say karting. It's a, it's a hard one though. I think I'm fairly similar in terms of just like ability on both, but I'd say karting just edges it. How do I decide which brake bias to put? Um, right, so front bias makes the car stop quicker, slightly. Um, but it, you have to do your braking slightly more straight. It understeers more, so you can't turn in whilst braking on front bias so much. So if you want um, faster braking front, but there's other things to think about. Um, which is to less than understeer you can put it towards the back so front is more understeer back is more oversteer um, in terms of tyre wear um, front uh, bias wears out the front tyres more rear bias wears out the rear tyres more so There's just a couple of factors you want to think about. I put it towards the front. I don't know I'm getting understeer, but I just want slightly sharper braking. So that's why I've done it. Thank you, uh, Caden. I just saw your donation there, mate. Let me just finish this lap. How was it working for the GT Sport FIA Championship? Yeah, it was really good, actually. 52.7. Um, you know, something different. Um, it's quite tricky, like, getting used to having someone, like, speaking in your ear and all that kind of thing. But I got used to it, and I think I didn't do too badly. Thank you, Woodman Gaming. Come on, car. Go, go, go. Two tens up here. Nearly three. Hey, Jack Harding. Good to see you, mate. Race C is in ten minutes. Okay. Thanks for the shout out, for the warning. Oh my god, I just surrendered two tenths there. What a noob. I might not even do this race again. <laughs> but to get a good time. 
That's an improvement, but I did surrender two tents. 52.6. So a lot of the times, when we did the race, loads of people were 52.5. So I, I, if I can get to 52.4, that'd be good. How is that slower? God. I'm up. These cars are just, they're just not that fun to drive, they're just, it's just this oversteer is just horrible. Okay. I'm going to go with that, that'll do. 52.5. Slide down, turn the wheel, and if you want to win, go a little bit faster than all the others. Thank you, T, what is it, TI44S. You're my favourite YouTuber at the moment. Love your sense of humour. Keep it up, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, bro. And thank you... Uh, unpronounceable name. Sushi. Something. You plan on taking the new BMW to the track? Um, I don't, actually. I'm kind of okay with it just on the road. And I don't want to ruin it on a track. Um, I, I feel as though I do enough, like, kart racing. I get my fix in terms of racing in karting. So... I would like to do, I would like to step into cars, you know, and do something on a track in a car, but that'll come one day, that'll come one day. When's the collab with KSI? I wish, mate. I wish, bro. All right, let's just jump in. I can practice still, just don't set a lap time. And we be good, y'all. Do, 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 do. Oh, how are we all doing today? All good? Shall I fight KSI? Shall I join the side men? Shall I be in the new side man? Good times here, under a 2.30. Yeah, I'm in Quadrant. I've got my own Sidemen team here. We don't need the actual Sidemen. Steve, want to give me your PS4? Um, quick answer, no. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Nice try, but... I'm still using it right now, so... I actually need it at the moment.
Stuart Palmer. My guy. What's up? There's only one steering wheel. That's very true, mate. Very, very true. Deck the one. Commitment. And corner cutting. You love to see it. I don't know if third gear feels right there. I think if you get it dead right, it's third, but... You can just do it in second and... Hadi, Hadi, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Could I replace Lando in Quadrant? Yeah, let's get rid of him. Unfortunately, you cannot. Unless you can do all the F1 stuff as well. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'll take your bath while you're at it. I sold my bath today. They drove it away. Well, they didn't drive it away. They took it on a trailer. But yeah, my bath is gone. I had that car for seven years, and it is gone. Sad times. piece of my heart disappeared today. It was actually quite emotional seeing it go. Like, I'll never see that car again. And I had it for seven years. Nearly. Thank you, Anthony Richardson. Yes, mate. Yeah, a lot better now. Um, it was a, just a weird summer this year. But, yeah, all good now, mate. All good. Like, loads of things all sort of converged on, upon me at once this year. A couple of months ago, but... Doing a lot better now. <laughs> oh, screw it. It doesn't matter. But, um, but, yeah, feeling good now, mate. Thanks for asking. I appreciate the concern. Do I need fifth gear there? I don't know if this lift shift... It might... Maybe it works. But I don't think it's worth much time. So the yes is the first sector is just really about just well I suppose the whole track really but especially the first sector is just getting on the power very early and being very smooth with the car not scrubbing off any momentum unlike that Oh my god. That is awful. That's not how that's how to not take the hairpin. Uh what pedals do I use? I use the Fanatec V3s. And I don't I haven't got the performance mod. For me it feels fine without it. That'll do, Donkey. Do, do, do I have Twitch? Yes. Do I stream on it? Yes, but not all that much. Just other random games every now and then. Not racing games, basically. It's all linked in the description. Why this view? Because it's the one I like the most and I'm most comfortable with, pretty much. All right. 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> We've got Key and Tijni and Alex. The Spaniard, he's quick. Oh boy. Got the big guns right behind me. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Paul Edwards. Didn't you add in a bath pun? So, yeah, man. I've had it. When did I buy it? I think I'm pretty sure I bought the very last one. It was at least the last one that my dealership had. I don't know if it's the last one in the UK, but they stopped, they stopped making it the year that I got it. So I might have got the last one in the UK. Um, but certainly the last one in the dealership. Um, that was 2014. And I got rid of it today. Um, it's actually quite sad, you know, saying goodbye to a car that you've had that long. I did... How many miles did I do in it? 55,000 miles I did in it. Why not the bonnet view? Um, I don't know. I just think it's like too forward and low down. I think at least with the bonnet roof cam, you can see a little bit more to the side. So peripheral vision is a bit better. But the, the downside of the... Um, the downside of the roof slash bonnet cam is that it doesn't have a mirror. Whereas on the on the on the bonnet cam you do on the this one you get the mirror this one you don't this one you just can see a bit more you can say why not do this one but this one just feels weird on a wheel which car will you replace the above um i i bought a an m bmw m2 two months ago Kevin Butler's in here. Yeah, I saw that. He's in fifth. Right. Okay. Let's let's try and have a good one here. The, the last one could have been a really good race. I think we could have finished top five. But let's see what we can do. Do you need T? Do you need TC off the line? I don't know if you do. I'm gonna. No, you don't. You definitely do not. Thank you. Hundred twenty thousand miles. My God, man, it's a lot of driving, bro. There's no space there. Oh, this is messy. Four second penalty. Ouch. Go on, German. P next to me, is it? Right, 13th, where do I start? 17th? Something like that.
key goes for this, I'm not going to fight him because he can just tow me up the grid. I actually don't mind that. Tactical release there. Now, let's catch up. Let's put in some... It'll probably take two, three laps here to catch the group ahead, but... be less than two or three laps we're going to be on them at the end of this lap okay it needs to be early on the power there look Picks cam. He's going deep. Oh, key with a penalty. Rip. Right, the streamers are all here. <laughs> I'm there, mate. Woohoo! Yeah! Get drifting round there, boy. Well, that's really unsettled my pace. That's a horrible exit. Risky. I'm going through him. Oh. <laughs> ah, he's got me back.
Come on, mate, let's go and get that freaking group in front. I think that's maybe one side of Ollie's driving that you you'll just think about the overtake and not the long term. Oh god. Oh god. I ain't risking that. Oh key. Ah! What have you done there, brother? Key 25 into the, sh the shadow realm. Well, it was a half bin. Half bin into the realm. <laughs> Spaniards on me now. Well, we can. S what is that group there? Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, mate. Just go. There's a freaking group there. Just. Go. Let's get them. Wait, eight, seven, six, five, four. There's a battle for fourth in that group, I think. Is that right? Eight, seven, six, five, four. Again, very cozy now. Wow. Thank you, Anthony. Why get the move done there? God, look how close this is. Oh, God. Where's Titch? Come on, Titch. Get in here, bro.
What for? What for? Like, everyone's hitting each other. Fuck it. I, can't, I just can't be bothered with this. I just can't be fucking bothered if you just... You're gonna have a good race and then that shit happens. Was it a track limit? Why didn't it tell me there was a track limits? Why didn't it say you cut the track? They raced me so hard. Oh, God. I just can't be bothered if it's like that. It's so annoying. Oh, God's sake. Let's do this race. If my rating isn't dead. Wait, let me, uh, I want to watch that. Let me watch it back. Oh god, yeah, it was just like a tiny bit on the first apex. <laughs> ah, <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, not much chilling going on again. <laughs> Daily racism? Get what? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, David, as well. And thank you, uh, Anthony. Okay, I had a look on the internet and this is David. Keep, kept the Apunto a bar for eight years, was the 18th SAS he made. Uh, really good car. Love your M2. Cheers, mate. Cheers, ma'am. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, what I don't understand is like, normally when you cut the track, it says that you've cut the track, so you know that it's a track limit penalty, and it didn't say it, so I thought it was for contact. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, wait, don't. Oh, it always says track limits if it's, that's a, that's a question actually. Why, it said nothing, it didn't say anything, it just gave the penalty. So what do you have to do to get it to say nothing? I don't actually know. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure when you get track limit penalty, it says, um, what does it say? Cut, cut the circuit, um, track limits. I can't remember what it says, but I'm pretty sure it says. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's for, pe for contact, which is just, it's just a joke. It's just like, you have a really good race and then it's like, nope, sorry, you can't have a good race because there was a door bang, which had no effect on anyone. Ugh. Oh well. Contact and track limit. Would, hmm. yeah, that just seems weird that it would be both. Oh yeah, if it's both, one second for each, and it doesn't tell you which one, it just says nothing. Maybe, yeah. Thank you, Whale. They really do race you so goddamn hard. I know, man. They race me so hard. <laughs> they race me so hard. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> when When's the chill part start? Yeah, we haven't really done much of that today, unfortunately. Yeah, move on to the next race. Good advice there, mate. But 
it's it seems like overly um, sensitive at the moment. Like the tr track limit penalty, fair enough. But it's like the contact. Even if I didn't get the track limit, I would have still got the contact penalty, probably. So you just think. <laughs> it's, oh, it's just a. Order a pizza, mate. I'm thinking of yeah, going to get some fast food or something because. Yeah. I could do with, uh, what could I do with? Pizza's probably too much. I don't know, I'll think of something. At least the bump draft penalty is gone. Yeah, that was, yeah, I never liked those. Especially in those cars, like, you can bump draft, you should be able to bump draft each other. I don't even want to go out on track, because I, because I, that track, uh, sorry, that lap is, just so good. Wait, let, let's watch the top time, shall we? Uh, the 54.3. Can I watch it? Why can't I watch it? Let's go back. Let's, um, I want to watch what he did. He's six tenths quicker. Yeah, six tenths. Actually, let's bag of chips. Go down the, go down the chippy, mate. Uh, times. Let's see where I am in the region, quick. Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, Maggio. In the world. Let's see where I am in the world with that time. I am 39th in the world with that time. The 54.9. It's not bad. Where am I in Europe? Or EMEA? Uh, Maggi or EMEA? Probably about 20 something. 23rd. I'm 23rd in EMEA with that time. The 54.9. Not too bad. I'll take that. Can I go to McDonald's and get a McFish and chips? What's um, is it the uh, fillet of fish? Oh, he goes up into second quite early. Okay, I could perhaps do that. I was going out in first and then short shifting to second. Yeah, you need to take all of that third early. So. You He's short shifting or up shifting early to avoid wheel spin. Stays a bit wider there, second gear. And again, an early up shift into third. Just really nicely controlled. It's just really smooth. just really really smooth it doesn't in a weird way it doesn't look quick but it just is yeah I suppose, yeah it depends on the car like upshifting it could be easier to upshift rather than control the throttle and you just have to work that out on a car by car, track by track basis, I guess. And again, second to third, get a bit more rotation. Yeah, often, often fast laps actually look slow because they just there's no drama. They just keep it really smooth. I mean, that was just looked like a perfect lap, just driven, uh, driven so smoothly. No drama. Cheers, John. Yeah, man. It's just I just got a stupid penalty, you know. And I was just going to drop like eight positions, uh, so I can't be bothered. Right, uh, let's jump in. Let's do a quick lap on a controller. See how bad I am. It'd be interesting. Is your DD1 the PlayStation ver uh, version? Yes. Hence, I'm playing on Gran Turismo. Wouldn't be able to do that otherwise. Yeah, that guy, that, I mean, that lap was just, I mean, what can you say? Just smooth, perfect, no drama. That's how, that's how you should drive, just like that. <laughs> Disney's back. Yeah, mate, it looked like you're struggling to get through that pack. 
I struggled it. Well, I was doing alright and then I got a stupid penalty. So I was just gonna be bothered. Right. Let's see what I can do on a controller. It's been a while. It's been a very, very long while. Feels weird, man. Feels weird, man. JPEG. Oh my god, the twitchiness. Oh. God, I am awful. This, this is so hard. Controller and chase cam, bro. This is how we used to be back in the day. It's like a different game. It's not, it's not, I'm not playing the same game. Old school gaming, yeah. How it used to be. To be fair though, right? Out of the millions of people that have played this game, probably the vast majority are on a controller. You know, most people aren't going to have a wheel. So this is what most people are playing like, to be fair. Thank you, Raphael. The donation? Raphael, what a guy. Chase cam intensifies. What's this laptop going to be? It's going to be like three seconds off the pace. It's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. Like three seconds off. Come on, let's try and shave off. We can shave off a couple of seconds. The problem is you don't get that. When you're getting oversteer and you need a fine amount of control, like you, it's really hard on a controller. To get that exact amount of correction because it feels too twitchy it's the twitchiness that i can't quite get used to i mean if you're driving the car just fine it's, it's all right but i think when it goes wrong and you have to correct it that's when it's really difficult on the controller Krill C. Matt Foster was in the chat before the stream started. Um, he is around. He still exists. mid 56 one and a half seconds off the pace oh my god my goodness what if I wait can you do steering oh wait can you do steering on the controller and then pedals that'd be weird if you could do that right let's freaking do it pole position let's go let's go if you keep behaving that way uh you will be sent to the shadow realm you have summoned matt foster by the by the nine divines matt foster has been summoned 
And there he is. Felipe, baby, stay cool. We're bringing you the white visor. Stay cool. We're in a good position. Thank you, Matt Foster. Thank you, Bryce Collins. What are the races for this week? Okay, so race A is group four at Autopolis, four laps. This is race B, four laps at Maggiore in group three. And race C is Mazda Roads to Touring Car, eight laps at Suzuka. How do you find the balance between accelerating and grip in this car? <laughs> you beat my time on your first lap of control and I've been trying the whole day. Mm. How, do, how, how do you explain it? I think the main thing is like when you're coming out of the corner, like you, 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 you don't just go 0% throttle, 100%. You're like, you're on about half. And then as soon as you can judge it, as soon as you realize that you can go full throttle and not go wide, you just, then you put it down. So you go like 0% mid corner, then up to about 50, and then I can accelerate 100%. So you're like, so you're like blending in the power as you're coming out of the corner. So it's never zero to 100 instant because your car will just slide. So you have to be really, hold it at like 50 to keep the car nice and balanced in the middle of the corner. But what I would recommend is just doing loads of practice laps and just getting a feel for what you can and can't get away with. A good a good practice is coming out of turn two, the hairpin at the start of the lap. Because it's a low gear, slow corner, you need to really straighten the wheel before you accelerate. So that's something else you need to think about. So don't put full power while you're still turning, especially at a low low speed corner. So there's lots of little things you have to think about um, when you're getting on the power. Well, yeah, so lots of Brits here. Two Belgians and one Italian. Yeah, Tid, yeah, it's really good for opening a corner up. So it's almost like you're, you're steering tight and then you open up the steering straight, go straight for like a little bit to get really good traction in a straight line and then then steer a bit more so obviously the, the less you're steering the more traction you'll get on the way out of the corner so you have to like uh, bear that in mind you have to perhaps take take a different line what brake balance am i using i am using two to the front righty then let's go let's try and win a race I'm glad I'm in the top split still. That's all right. <laughs> I mean, just watch my throttle input. No, that wasn't actually that good, but just watch it throughout the race. Super is going to catch right up with me here. Had to be done. He's on my inside here.
Oh, he's really close. It's going to be hard to defend against now. Oh, he's bumped me there. That's actually helped me. Oof, right. Too wide. close Thank you, Dello. Oh, he's dropped it. He's not in the slipstream anymore. Hey, Key25, good to see you, mate. <laughs> yeah, man, that penalty was stupid. It was a really good race, it was really annoying because it's like you're having a good race and then... And then the game just like, nah, we don't want to give you that.
Come on! 55-4 as well. Yes! Had to really defend that one. Had to really defend. That was a good win. I like that. Oh! Tommy T! Good to see you, man. Turn up just in time for the win, mate. Good timing. You've blessed me. You've blessed me. Get in there, Lewis. I haven't got any more water left. Get in there, Lewis. That was a good drive. That was defensive. I had to defend that one. I got lucky at one point because he caught up with me just going onto the straight and he didn't go around. He bumped me instead and it helped me. Um, but still had to get your elbows out. That was a, that was a good race. That was a good race. Wi-Fi password it says congrats. Thanks for it. Thank you, bro. Miracles do happen, mate. Get in there, Lewis. Thank you, Josh. Cheers, brother. Honestly, what are we doing? Racing or pick one? My team Heisenberg, yeah, he, he got an SR down. This game, bro. This game, no, not bro, bro. Bro, this game, bro. What's it like, bro? Yeah, oh wow, God, he went down to A. What? That's the, like, that's, we both had a really good respectful race and he drops SR like that like <laughs> what sort of sick joke is this absolute absolutely sickening thank you sly old fox awesome defense thank you man thank you richie 95 hd for the 10 euro just doing some early christmas shopping and can't forget my favorite youtuber get yourself some discos my friend happy holidays thank you very much mate thank you for thinking of me I do appreciate it, my good friend. I want to do it again. Should we perhaps go into the Supra, though? Let's try the Supra. Try a different car. Let's do it. Toyota Supra. Give it a go, yo. But, I mean, like, how silly is that race? The penalty system is too fussy at the moment. I can't believe that guy went down to A-rated. We just had one of the most respectful, <laughs> clean races you'll ever see. Can you get a penalty for blocking? Um, it depends how... <sighs> it's hard to describe. If someone like went like this down the straight, they wouldn't get a penalty. Um, it depends if there's contact as a result. But the silly thing is, it wouldn't necessarily go the way... It wouldn't necessarily be given... Let's say someone did that, and someone would try to overtake, and they just go like that, and they hit each other. Maybe they would get a penalty, but maybe the person trying to overtake would get a penalty. It's not really... There's not really a clear-cut, you have been penalised for excessive blocking. Like, there's nothing like that as such. Merlin the Pig. Would you rather have a face the size of a nipple or a nipple the size of a face? God, imagine your face being like that small. Or a nipple. I suppose it has to be the nipple the size of a face. Because you can just hide it for the most part. People wouldn't look at you weird on the street unless you had your top off. So yeah. Nipple the size of a face. Please. <laughs> Du, 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 du. Wait, Kirith is in here. Hello. Struggling in the midfield. Yeah, I'm going to do another one, Kirith. And uh, Nathan's in here. NM1M. Yeah, I'm going to do another one, mate. I saw your time's really good, so you'll be up the front, mate. But yeah, I mean, this track is actually... It's not the easiest to overtake. 
I mean, looking at the map, there should be loads of overtaking places, but it's not actually always the easiest place, uh, track to overtake. And especially if you're the master of defense, as you just saw. So with defending, you kind of have to make that decision. Like you look behind, are they close enough? Are they going to do it? If it's no, then just take the normal racing line. But if you think they are going to overtake, then wait until fairly late, but obviously not too late, and then just move to the inside and hope to make sure they go to the outside. Just keep them on the outside. That's the number one priority. And then, and then it's a case of when they're on the outside of you, just get your breaking point right. You've got the inside. You should be able to win the corner. The difficulty comes if they've got the outside but they've got a run on you so they're further ahead then it might be tricky but you just gotta drive well enough so that they don't get enough of a run on you basically that'll be my main tips for defending but you also have to choose when to defend you know if if it's a, a half an hour race and you're on lap one it's not worth defending because you're just losing so much time but if you're in the lead on a four lap race, then yeah, you might as well defend. If you're super advanced, you can force them narrow, make them back out, yep. You can, yeah, if they're on the inside, keep them on the inside and either go around their outside on the corner or they'll overcook it and cut them back. So really a lot of this, you know, a lot of racing comes down to like, when it comes down to intricate close racing, you're trying to put them in a bad position that they don't want to be in and you're trying to get yourself into a good position that you do want to be in so a lot of the time I'm thinking you know, where does this guy not want to be that he doesn't want to be on the outside put him to the outside then the slow carter thank you very much mate About time you made a donation. Don't feel as though you have to donate, but I really appreciate that you did, mate. And, um, well, thank you very much. Yeah, this car isn't quite as easy to... It's not quite as easy to drive in terms of the handling. But of course you do you do have the straight line, so How long did it take you to make it on YouTube? Well, I started my channel in two thousand eleven. I I was full-time by 2018. Oh, I'm not even on pole. Okay. Fair enough. This will be interesting. Yeah, why have I got this assumption that I'm going to be on pole every time? I'm not. There's other quick guys out there. 54-6. That might even be a top 10. What was I saying? Oh, how long did it take to make it on YouTube? Um, I was full-time, when was it? June 2018. So I've been doing this full time for two and a half years. Um, I only really took YouTube seriously from maybe 2015 or 16 onwards, where I thought I'm gonna try and actually like be consistent with my uploading. Like before that, I was just like, eh, just upload whatever, whenever, whenever I feel like it. Didn't really take it that seriously. But from 2015, I was like, let's try and get a bit of a schedule going, like try and upload at least a couple of times per week. I started streaming in 2017. And then by 2018, I managed to go full time. So it took a good couple of years of actual properly trying to get it to be a career. So it's not easy, you know, you, it's not something you can just do like that. You have to put a lot of time and effort in. It takes, it takes a while. And especially now, I'd say that... Um, the longer it's probably harder to do it now than it is before but I don't know I think the main thing if you want to make it on YouTube you just got to be regular consistent and just do your own thing and 
you'll get that. That is a warm up and a half right there. Right, okay. I sort of wish I was in the FT1 now, now that I'm third, but. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Do your own thing is the big one, yeah. Just be yourself. There's no point. Don't act. Never act. Just do your own thing. Righty then. On guard. Let's go. I think the key thing here is really just uh, stay in the slipstream with the guys ahead and just see what happens. Do I prefer this track clockwise or anti-clockwise? I prefer it this way round, I would say. I don't know Robbie Heck, is that... Is that Storm on a second account or something? Okay, yeah, these guys are, are quick. <laughs> Behind's got to run. I'm going to stay in the slipstream. Aha. That might be a penalty. Nope. Okay. I'm good. Look at the leader. He's just gone. He's in another dimension. Thank you, Sam, for becoming a member. Cheers, man. Woo. I don't even know how to say that name, but thank you very much for the donation. I'd love to... I don't even know what characters they are. I'd love to better speak that language, but unfortunately I don't, my friend. But thank you very much for the donation. Oh, I need to get that a bit better. Is there a chance here? Is there a chance? There might be. Is he going to defend? No, is the answer. I don't think I'll be able to break away from this guy. It's too quick. Oh, the leader a little bit wide there. Oh, he's got a penalty. Okay, that helps.
Lee just done a 54 8. God. It's quicker than my qualifying lap. And it looks like he made mistakes as well. See ya! This guy is so quick. Why am I getting a penalty for four wheels over the white line? That's not how Gran Turismo works. Uh, there's some parts of some tracks where you can just cut more than two uh, four wheels over the white line it's not that isn't a hard and fast rule on this game for the most part it is but not on every corner yeah, this guy behind is gaining on me just caught the inside of that curb hooked me around a little bit yeah the back straight is going to be tricky here because he's in my slipstream now and he is quick Let's see if I can do it need to get this section right Thank you, Alex. Okay. It's going to be an uncomfortable final sector. Because <laughs> he's right on me now. Just shows you how big that slipstream again is on that back straight. Might have to defend. I'm going to defend. You can try around the outside. He's trying the cut back, which I am aware of. There's no way it's going to happen. Park it on the apex. He ain't having it. Oh, he won't like that. I, I did run him a bit too wide there. I did run him too wide. I ran him too wide. But... I mean, that Swedish guy was absolutely flying <laughs> he was a rocket guy is very very quick i prefer i'd say i prefer the ft1 i know it's if you've got a super in your slipstream it's it's it's, it's a tricky job to try and keep them behind but if you can just pull away then you're all right Have you driven a track in real life and how did your times compare in, uh, to Gran Turismo? Um, no, I, I, I don't have a like direct comparison. 50, what did I do? 55.3, that's alright, but the guys around me, 54s. I mean, that is... I suppose he did have the toe, but...
Wow, where did that come from? Thank you, Raphael. Cheers, mum. I need to make an American account, don't I? Go and play in the Americas. See what they're like over there. Anyway, look. I went on the internet this week and I found this. Thank you, Crawford95x, for becoming a member. Much appreciated, mate. Don't know what's happening to my voice. How can I join Club 100? Go on the website, find an event you like, sign up on the phone, on the internet, boom, you're in. Nah, 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 nah. Can you play this with a pad and be top five? Depends what you mean by top five. Top five of what? Top five in the world? Probably not. Top five in a in a BS lobby? Probably. Become an EU spy. The European Union... Actually, no, we're not in the... Ugh, I'm trying to make up a joke here. British spy goes undercover in the United States. Why am I saying United States? It's all of America, isn't it? Although I'm guessing when you go online in the Americas, it's mostly Americans, I would assume, but who knows. I want to see Cowboy Steve. What's this, Tidge? What is this, mate? BS Lobby is my life. BS Lobby is for life, y'all. Do you have a tattoo? I don't, actually. I don't have any tattoos. In America, they do much more than a rude block. I was going to say, like, I'm, I'm sure that the standards are different in America than they are in, in Europe. Uh, just, the, just the way that things are done. The way, what is acceptable, what is not acceptable is just different. Oh, the US account, yeah, yeah. I need to. I, I will make one at some point. I think I need to do it. I think everyone's, everyone's streamed a different region on their account at some point, but I haven't done that yet. Nah, 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 nah. NA are clean compared to EMEA. Mm. We'll have to find out, won't we? <laughs> My Australian account is teaching you down under. Show your setup for Group 3. If there is no setup, you just drive stock cars on this. Do a series where you infiltrate, infiltrate all regions. Okay. I'm done for today. I'm done. I'm calling it there. We had a couple of good races on the Magior, but I'm really hungry. I'm just going to go and buy some food. <laughs> I also want to go and get some food. And drive. Go for a drive. I could do a drive. Put some tunes on. Put it in M Sport Plus mode. Drive to somewhere, get some food. Love it. You love to see it. Let us get some music on for you. Oh yeah, there you go. Love it. Alrighty, everyone. Hope you're all good. Thank you so much for watching. It was a bit of a mixed stream. There was some good racing in there, to be fair. It's just the penalties. Hence the slowdown t-shirt. <laughs> Mr. Penalty over here. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, as always. If you're new, subscribe. Do it right now, obviously. Um, in the meantime, take care. And stay safe out there. I shall see you all very soon. There'll be a video tomorrow, so tune in. Where's my outro? Here it is. See you later. Bye-bye.
Wow. 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 Catch you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Wow.